Hey, welcome to All Things SEO with Jay. Today we're going to talk about the top six must-have SEO plugins you need for your WordPress website. And um, this is only for WordPress. There, um, I don't deal with Wix or Squarespace or Shopify. So if you don't have the uh, WordPress, I strongly recommend using WordPress because you have all the tools you need to make your website a lot better. But again, these are the plugins that you want to install as soon as you watch this video or as you're watching this video, you want to go and install those, these plugins. Uh, I'm going to do uh, go in the order of free to paid. Uh, majority of them are free, so you don't have to worry about paying for anything. Uh, but also, there are some plugins that you want to pay for the optimal results. Uh, so... Um, if whether you're a brand new uh, brand new person who wants to start a website or ha you have an existing website uh, or you do SEO for your clients, these are the plugins that I recommend. I've tested it, I've uh, compared it, used several other plugins, and these are far best the best plugins you could use. So uh, the first one is Analyti Analytify. I don't know how to pronounce it well. I know how to say analytics but i don't know how to say an uh, analytify analytify i guess so there's two different plugins for uh for this tool uh and you want to install both of them this is the dashboard and the and then you have the the widget plugin so what this is is pretty much google analytics on your wordpress site so as soon as you log into your wordpress uh, you get to see, um, you could change 30 days and you could view the stats here and you could kind of see what's happening with your website. You don't have to go to Google analytics. And I, 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 I like that. I don't want to, I have, uh, several sites. I have more than 40 websites. I don't want to go to Google analytics and then go to the, go to the WordPress website to see what's happening. So this is a quick, uh, easy widget on your dashboard. Uh, but if you actually click on the dashboard, you get to see a uh, little more detail of what's happening with your website. You can see the uh, the growth uh, of the last 31 days, or you could select seven days. So if you're implementing any uh, on-page optimization or things like that, you could check uh, what's going on and so on. And if your page session is going down, you want to see what you could do to kind of increase it uh, and kind of kind of see an overview and you have the top page views, uh, geographic location, who, uh, where are you targeting for your site and if that matches the, the, the traffic too. So if your website's uh, focused in the US then obviously you want more traffic in the US compared to uh, India or China or Russia or, or wherever. Uh, and then you kind of get the breakdown of all the devices that people use to kind of uh, go into you, to your site. So you could kind of say um, you have to be more mobile friendly or if you have uh, more people using the desktop, then you could kind of optimize your Google ads or your uh, cl click the rate on different uh, CTRs and things like that. And then you, you could add in premium features if you want to purchase the plugin. You don't have to, but uh, there's some, I guess, obvious um, graphs that you could see kind of to to make it more visual appealing and other features. I'm sure they, that they provide. I haven't paid for any of them, so um, if you want to, that's fine. But, yeah, analytics... Uh, and Analytify is one of the plugins that you want to use. So you're always on your game, um, making sure your your, your 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 site is growing and things like that. The next thing is obviously I've uh, I've emphasized uh, rank math uh, a lot on my videos. You could uh, I'll put the link uh, video description uh, video link to the the tutorial I created for ranked math and the comparison with Yoast. I don't recommend anyone using Yoast. I recommend using ranked math because of all the tools that they provide compared to Yoast. Um, and this is totally free. Um, and there are a lot of tools that you could use. Um, one thing I really like is the redirection. So if uh, you created a page 
and you decided to change the URL of that article or uh, the page, it'll automatic, uh, automatically redirect the old URL to the new URL. So you don't have to make any of those changes. Um, and things like uh, schema structured data, uh, you could have a little bit more control. So if you're a news site or if you're an article site, uh, you could definitely have uh, create more um, different types of changes. So let me kind of give you an example of the different, different types of schema um, you could use for an article. Uh, these uh, They have three selections. They have the article, blog post, and I believe news article. Um, so if I go here on the Gutenberg, you have the article here, and then article type, article, blog post, and news article. So if you're a publisher, uh, you want to use the news article so that Google could identify that this is a um, very new article of news related article versus in just an article piece. So they might be able to uh, index that article, a news article faster than a regular article. Uh, and there's uh, definitely more uh, tools here than you, that you could use compared to Yoast. Uh, and right out of the box is just amazing. Uh, I, I recommend it. Um, the third tool that I suggest is table of content. And I use um, easy table of content, or is that the name? Yeah, easy table of content. And what that does is it helps create a table of content based on your heading structure. Um, and you want, um, you want table of content so that people could, once they re, uh, go into you, one of your articles, uh, they could kind of see what they, uh, if they are really interested or not. Um, you don't want them to read uh, through it and get disappointed and leave and never come back. You want them to kind of give you that, uh, you want to give them the opportunity to um, identify the context of your page. And this also helps with um, Google um, because it cre uh, each heading creates a specific URL. So if I copy this link, it, it goes directly to this uh, section and the, the URL is automatically created. Um, and you could auto insert these table content. You can make some changes to it so that you could uh, uh, customize it any way you like, uh, maybe the design or the color of things and so forth. So, and which headings you want, you prefer to have on your table of content. The, the next thing is contextual related posts. Uh, so if you go into uh, the plugin section, you want to download the contextual related po uh, post, the CRP. And this is an amazing tool. Um, it's not uh, not a lot of machine learning or algorithm, uh, but it does try to take as much context possible to f identify uh, related articles for that exist uh, for that article. And you could define uh, some of the the details of what kind of article or how many articles you want. Um, number of uh, articles you want to provide or related posts should be newer than um, and things like that and how this um, you could uh, add on images or you could uh, make it a bullet point and things like that so this uh, this article is uh, based on expressive machines and if you look at all the related articles all talking everything about expresso is related to this article. Now this tool is called Link Whisper. This is the first paid um, plugin that I am recommending. Uh, you could build internal links uh, using this tool a lot easier. Uh, you don't have, once you, uh, majority of the time, once you write an article, then you have to go back to all the previous articles that you might want to link to that article. Um, this tool kind of makes it a lot easier. 
So in this dashboard, you could kind of see what uh, most links to specific domains. Uh, but if you go into uh, the link report, you could, uh, let's say you want to add um, more links to this existing page. It kind of um, goes through all of the articles uh, on my site. And then let's see, uh, kind of makes suggestions on uh, some of the keywords that you could link and then you could just click on it or you can make some changes like re uh, remove specific words and just use coffee cake or um, you could add here um, baking and then it'll search that keyword on my all of all of the articles that I have it's going to go through and find that one so baking 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 and then you could click on this and add the link to this existing article. The other thing that it does is um, of, uh, when you're editing an existing article, it kind of gives you a suggestion of uh, outbound internal links. So if you have previous exist existing uh, articles and there's uh, a potential here, then it kind of gives you a suggestion, hey, let's link this one or this one. Um, so this is a very handy tool. It'll save you a lot of time and effort in building your site structure using Link Whisper. Uh, the next paid plugin that I recommend is WP Rocket. This helps your site speed uh, much faster. Um, it does a lot of... Uh, it has a lot of features where it could help you do a lot of um, the stuff on the back end so that you don't have to worry about it. All you have to do is just click a click few buttons and you're it, you're done. So things like cache, uh, ca enable caching for mobile devices, uh, file optimization, all you have, uh, just click, 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 and that's done. Uh, media, you want to lazy load the images, uh, so lazy load right here. Um, so and then integrate it with your CDN. There are other uh, tools out there that's free. To, uh, I believe Total Cache or Total, yeah, Total Cache is uh, one of them. But I, when I tested it, um, so WT Total Cache, WP Fastest Cache. I've worked with those plugins before, but uh, WP Rocket seems to be. Uh, the best one uh, as far as performance goes and how it really helps increase your site speed. So I highly recommend uh, using this plugin as well. So those are the plugins that I am recommending. Uh, any other tools that you want to use, you can, but uh, just be aware that more plugins you use, uh, the more uh, your website takes to uh, function. So uh, make sure to kind of minimize uh, your plugin installations uh, if you really need it or if you don't need it uh, and things like that. But these are the, the top six that I recommend for SEO. If you have any recommendation or if you have any questions about any other any plugins that I've mentioned, please leave a comment. And if you have, um, uh, if you like this video, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button, uh, give me a like, and so forth. Till next time, all things SEO with Jay.